after the amazing Resident Evil 2 remake and the meh Resident Evil 3 remake, we have Resident Evil 4 remake. Now, do we need a Resident Evil 4 remake? No, but despite me being kind of sick of all of these remakes that are coming out, it does look really good. I mean, all of the trailers they've shown off, it just looks incredible, really. Uh, will that translate to actually playing it? Who knows? But thankfully, Capcom have released a demo. I love that they do this. I'm so happy that demos are kind of coming back in fashion lately. It is called the Resident Evil 4 Chainsaw Demo, obviously because you can use your Chainsaw GameCube controller. Obviously not, but that would be awesome if you could. <laughs> I am playing this on PC, so we'll have a quick look at the options menu. You can have PlayStation buttons or you can have Xbox buttons. I like that this is becoming more of a standard now on PC. I am playing with a mouse and keyboard though, because I'm playing on PC. I like to be able to aim properly. Does the game have an FOV slider? Yes, it does. Nice. We could max that out. I mean, there is literally options for changing every individual kind of menu, camera, inverting. It's pretty in-depth. Camera wobble. I might turn that off because I don't like to feel like I'm shaking like crazy. Turn the dot. You can have a dot on if you have motion sickness. You can change the... Bloody screen so real. I've kept it a week because, I mean, it's not a massive difference, but it is pretty annoying when you're trying to, you know, not die. And half the screen is, you know, obscured by jelly. You can change the aim color. You can even change the laser sight color. Hmm. But is it like an actual fully 3D laser or is it just a dot that appears does it have like an actual beam now for the graphic settings i've got everything pretty much maxed out apart from the texture quality settings normally re engine games run amazingly so i'm expecting good things like with most game developers they have not had a super great um transition to using dx12 the dx12 updates for re2 and re3 remake had Quite a few issues, so hopefully they have been sorted out in Resident Evil 4. The game does have ray tracing, but I don't have a ray tracing compatible card. And we've got FSR 2 and FSR 1. I'm not sure why you'd need both of them. Seems like FSR 2 kind of does everything FSR 1 does, but significantly better. In fact, I might even turn it on to quality, but I think for now we'll just leave it off. Subtitles, turn the subtitles on, make the subtitles big for my awful eyes. Speaker name display, yes, I like that. You could actually change the volume of the gunshots. Nice. I might put that to loud, but I guess we'll see uh, how loud they are when we get into the actual game. I don't wanna blow my ears off, but I like it when gunshots are like super loud above like all of the other audio elements. And accessibility, we've got kind of three settings here for your different kind of um, sensory elements, motion sickness, audio and visual, which is nice. You can kind of have what the developer thinks is a good setting for these kind of different sensory elements. So absolutely tons of stuff you can mess around in here, which is good that we can see what the game's gonna have uh, before it comes out. So let's have a look and see how they've done for this remake. New game, no difficulty settings for the demo. Capcom presents... September 30th, 1998. It's a day I'll never forget. <gasps> the cop inside me They're died using footage day. from the actual then RE2 remake. The city was wiped out. <laughs> cool. Thanks to the bioweapons Mr. created by X. Umbrella. Somehow I made it out, but too many others weren't so lucky. I was asked later to join a top secret government program. <laughs> Not that I had a choice. Such a pretty boy now. The training. Punishing missions. Nearly killed me. But at least I kept my mind off everything. If I could just forget what happened that night. The pain. Even Marvin. for a second. This time, it can be different. Ada, she's not dead. It has to. Talking to yourself, are you? In the back of the car.
It's been six years since Leon S. Kennedy survived the Raccoon City incident, an unprecedented biological catastrophe caused by the Umbrella Corporation. Having distinguished himself as a U.S. special agent, he is tasked with locating the president's missing daughter. The search has brought him to an isolated village in Europe, where intel suggests the kidnapped girl was last sighted. Where did you get this intel from? The merchant. Even Leon's past trauma could not prepare him for the nightmare, the insanity he would find there. Right, chapter one. Oh, and the mouse sensitivity is very, very slow. Super slow. It's like, uh, uh, turning over, 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 over. See what's taking so long? Oh, what, with the, um, is it the two policemen? Are they still in this? So how is it running? We are getting pretty much a locked 60, so it's clearly a lot more demanding than the other remakes. Damn. Yeah, the other remakes run at like 120 frames a second maxed out. This is significantly more demanding. Crikey. So let's have a little fiddle around, shall we, in the options menu. Camera, what about the sensitivity? Controller, mouse, it's very low. Super low. Middle, maybe? Try that. Is that better? That's better. That's probably about right. So we might have to put FSR 2 on. Uh, FSR 2 quality. How's it running now? Ta-da! FSR 2, so good. So let's see what's taking Ugh. them so long. I thought the police were no longer here. I guess they are. I thought it was different. I guess not, but they're gone now. Just gone. Look at the lighting. Whoa. 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 Look at whoa. the lighting. Whoa. <laughs> Looks so good. Ugh. Put your flashlight out. It's going to get pretty dark. Damn. Even with FSR 2 on, it's really demanding. Damn. Did not expect this. I mean, even Village runs at like 120 frames a second. No problem. Well, there's a big difference between high and max, actually. Damn, massive difference. Shadow quality. Not a big difference between... Wow, max and high use such an insanely different amount of memory. Wow. We'll put that down to high. Volumetric lighting could be causing... Can you really tell the difference? Put that down to high. That made a massive difference. <laughs> it made such a big difference to my frame rate. Not really. Leon just looks really weird in this coat. Kind of like gets really wide towards the midriff. Where's the doggy? The doggy's dead. No doggy for you. How far could he have gone? Doggy? Doggy? Are you alive, doggy? F. Okay, I think the F of E might be a little bit too wide. There you go. It's a bit more natural. Crouch. Can actually crouch. Oh my god. This actually feels pretty familiar to how Resident Evil Village plays in third person. Nothing to find. I want to break the barrels. F. Anyone home? Take your gun out. I can't take my gun out. You're restricting me. I could take my gun out in the original game. Let me take my gun out. Hello? This room wasn't here in the original. What's this? Ooh. Rotate. With the mouse wheel, no? Let's zoom in and out. Rotate. Ah, there we go. Space. Crude charm. Judgment is nigh. a little peek little peek so yeah it's got 
you know, a very similar aesthetic to Resident Evil Village, which, you know, Village had a as similar aesthetic to this anyway, really. But X marks the spot. Hello? I can't read Spanish. I need a key. That's new. So you can't just walk through doors anymore like in the previous remakes. You've got to actually click to open them. Oh. Oh, coke, oh, coke, oh, coke. Oh, tundra la estelo. Sorry to barge in like this. Busco a un policía. Vino aquí. Viviremos con tiempo por siempre. Por fin lo está. Oh. So the police wander off. Uh oh. Oh Jesus. Parry with the knife. Parry knife. Parry stab. Oh, you don't even get to actually shoot him this time. Just break his neck in the cutscene. Oh no. The policeman's gonna die in here. You're supposed to die on the stake. And then the other one's supposed to die by the fishy, the big fishy. Mmm. Man, that stinks. Delicious. Good old mama's cooking. Look at that fur. Damn. Right, now we can aim. But we don't have a laser. Where's my laser? Find my laser, son. Oh, you've got a lot of hotkeys. Eight. Damn. Use the key. Got a flashlight. It's very dark. Seems like you can't manually turn it on. Come out with your hands up. Very slow aiming. Hello? Can't make Resident Evil 4 scary. Resident Evil 4 is not scary. It's not a scary game. Don't make it scary. Hello. Rats. Hopefully they don't Put too many cutscenes at the start. Oh, he's dead. Oh no! A knife! I read you. What's your situation? Don't speak of the Spanier. Well, I do speak a little bit clearly. Uh, don't turn around. So the aiming is very slow. I'm going to turn that up as well. Uh, when aiming, put it about there. That's better. Hello? Hello? I'm scared. Leon, you're holding your gun at like a weird angle. Hold, hold it straight. Hold it straight. The bullets don't curve left. Leon! Oh shit, his neck's broken. But he's dead. Oh, fucking hell, they take a few hits, don't they? What the hell? Just keeps getting worse. So how do I ready my knife? There we go. Space. They put it back to that. Because in RE3 Remake, you had to actually equip it. Hello? Okay, you can open the doors. Just smash through them. Hello? Where'd he go? So how do I... F melee! Yes! Give him a stab. Don't hold your gun sideways, Leon. God, there's loads of them in here now. They've quadrupled. Shit, I was too slow. Again. Who's dead? Okay, this feels amazing. Already. Uh... 
Okay. Got to jump out the window. Ah, X marks the spot. It's open now. I need some ammo. I need a crate to smash. There's an herb. So can you still increase your health with combining the herbs like in the OG game? I hope so. So if it's got like an actual cutscene, I guess, you have to press F? Yeah. You can't just bash through it yourself. He looks a bit like Robert Patterson now. I'm in Twilight. Ashley! Leon! There's the lake. Bruce. Bruce. This is Gondor 1. Hunnigan. Yeah. Hunnigan. President's daughter. Baby honey, Eagle. honey. It's likely she's Baby in Eagle. Our intel was Are we sure back. this isn't just like an elaborate role play for we'll Leon? Baby, she ba she's here. Copy that. Copy. Hello. See what I can find. Come in. Hurry up. Rooster, Something's I'm in the nest. The people here. My escorts are. Gotta go. Talk later. Here's Johnny. Run. Jump. Jump out the, the window. Self up. I can't do it myself. Oh, the game does it for you. Boo. I feel like the game is maybe taking a little bit of the control away from you that you had in the OG game. Head for the lake. There's no ammo. It's very shiny. So, here we go. I got a first aid spray. Shoot the crow. Yeah, loot. Nice. Potatoes. I love me potatoes. Okay, you can slash without needing to actually ready it. Nice. Oh. Boosh. Handgun ammo. Oh, typewriter. Nice. Can't save. Can't save in the demo. Gunpowder. That wasn't in the original game, was it? You couldn't combine gunpowder to get ammo. They've changed that. 10 plus 1. So you can put another bullet in. Hello? Like, it feels like a completely different layout, even though I don't think it is. It just feels like a different layout. What a mossy tree. Lick the moss. So can I be stealthy? They added stealth gameplay. Like the evil within. No, you can't be stealthy. No stealth allowed. Boosh! He's dead. Boosh! Stab! Stab him while he's down. Holy shit. It feels way more, like, dynamic. Like, the OG game felt quite... Static, I guess. Quite rigid. This feels a lot more dynamic and fluid. Where's the doggy? Doggy. Oh no! Shit, I didn't see it. Damn it. Oh, I didn't take much damage. Hello? Hello?
And the gun is very shiny. Ugh. Potatoes. And a red herb. And a flash grenade. And a wheel. Nice. So, how do you make the herb that gives you more health? Is it red herb and the green herb combined? Ah, whoa. Look at all these herb combinations. Uh, or is it the yellow one? Oh, it's the yellow one. Uh, yeah. Ah, takes a second to make it. Craft. Ooh. Plus what? What does it need? What is that? Like a bundle of wood. <laughs> so that would have been like an actual... That would have been like an actual like loading screen, I think, on the OG game. Take out your, your thing, your binoculars. There they are. Oh, so one is still dead here. But what about the one on the lake? How's the, how's the fishy going to get fed? And he's still alive. He wasn't alive being burnt in the last game. In the, in the OG game, I don't think. Crikey. I love it if just a zombie just popped up. Jumped up in front of the binoculars. Hello! Right, I'm going to mark them. I'm going to mark the alarm. Uh, uh, mark the bell. Go up there. Cut the bell. So they can't call in reinforcements. <coughs> Hello, guys. Hey, guys. How's it going? Oh, I can... If I had Ashley, I could jump up here. Or help her up. There's a little side alleyway. Was that in the OG game? I do not want to disturb your ritual. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Hello. No, I'm sorry. Here we go. My aim's not very good, is it? Doesn't sprint the fastest, does he? Oh god. How do I block? I don't know how you parry. Boosh! So my knife is already quite damaged already. We're just killing like old pensioners. They don't even look like zombies anymore. Quick, Leon, run quicker. Don't know what I pressed, but I think if you just click, you parry. Ow. you got to move faster, Leon. Didn't give a shit about that, Father Christmas, did you? There's thousands of them. Oh no. Shoot the women first. Quick. Oh, hello. There's the chainsaw controller. It made it nice and yellow. So horrific eyes. Run away. How do I get the shotgun? Am I jumping here? No. I can. Grenades. Nice. What's that? Potatoes. Oh, Jesus. Uh -huh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Get the grenade out. 
pick up the potatoes. This is way more, like, intense. Uh, uh, jump through the window. Whoosh. I need a fucking key? Didn't need that previously. Oh, good. You can just, like, run past them pretty easily. Okay. Uh, grenade. There you go, buddy. Oh shit! Get the shotgun! There's so many of them! Uh... Do -do -do -do. Yes! Get the shotgun. Get the shotgun. Shoot through the little hole. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I huffed and I puffed. And I chainsawed your house down. Where's the shotgun? It's my lucky day. Do -do 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 -do. Have a first aid spray. That's not gonna help if I get my head chopped off. Uh there's the shotgun. Oh. Nice. Out comes my knife. Boosh. Damn. You gotta be shitting me. You can't be shitting me. Oof. Huh? Is that it? I survived long enough already. I wanted to kill the chainsaw guy. Deus Dominus Requiem. You drop your axe. I walk among you now. <laughs> among us. Could you give us the key first before you go in there? No. But I didn't even get to kill the chainsaw man. Where's everyone going? Where's everyone going? Bingo. Bingo. <laughs> oh dear. Well then, that has pretty much uh, sold the game to me because it feels so good to just shoot people in the head and then run up to them and roundhouse kick them. Holy shit! I mean, damn, really good. I mean, you're never sh quite sure how the game's going to play just by watching it, but damn, it feels great. Feels really, really good. Uh, damn. And they seem to have added, you know, a lot of mechanics from the other Resident Evil games, like the good ones, you know, being able to combine gunpowder to make some ammo. That wasn't in the OG game, I'm pretty sure. You just had to find ammo and buy it, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, I mean... Even though it is the same, pretty much the same layout, it feels feels so different. It feels completely different. Uh, like the size feels completely different. Like the village there felt massive compared to the OG game. And I think that's just, you know, like lighting. The lighting makes it feel way bigger and being able to, you know, pull the camera out a bit compared to the OG game. Because the OG game, you were quite close to the back of Leon. It just gives it a completely different sense of scale. I mean, I don't like buying remakes. I've only just played through the OG game like a couple of years ago. If I'd have known this was coming out, I probably wouldn't have played the OG game. Would have waited. So, 
I want to play. I want to play new stuff. I'm like someone who's like, please make new stuff. But you can't deny it's really good. So if it's really good, it's really good. Doesn't really matter if it's a remake or not. It's still really good. So yeah, I'm probably going to play this a few more times for myself because it's just a lot of fun to play. But that was the Resident Evil 4 remake demo on PC. Quite demanding compared to the other remakes. So we'll have to see you know how it runs when you get to more you know demanding areas like like the minecarts and fighting the big uh ogre and the bit on the the river so on the lake so we'll just have to see how it goes but I could just turn the settings down a little bit it looks great uh yeah impressed impressed <laughs>